Okay, this next example is the classic sliding tile game, a little digital version of um, the type of game where you slide pieces around the board. Um, it looks like this. You can click on any piece. Um, these are essentially little GUI buttons. Um, and if the piece is next to this empty space, it'll slide into it. And the point is to move all the pieces so that uh, they're in reverse numerical order from 15 to 14, 13, 12, all the way down to 1. Um, so that you slide all the board you know, pieces around the board um, until you get that order. Um, it's actually pretty simple to do in Rebel. Um, it starts out, again, with a typical Rebel header. Um, and then we create a GUI block, which is going to be sent to view layout to make a GUI. Um, that GUI block is called uh, the UI GUI, and it runs from this block, this opening block, you see the indentations, all the way down to the bottom here. And once that block is defined, the, the thing that uh, makes it uh, show up on the screen is again a view layout. This is we've got the little modifier center face, so it appears in the center of the screen. View layout, and then the GUI block. And in that GUI block, um, set some basic parameters here in the beginning. Uh, the origin keyword uh, tells us to start the layout in the upper left hand corner. As you've seen in other, um, in other programs, the by default images and GUI elements are placed centered in a nicely, nicely framed uh, um, outer border. So for example, normally you see this you layout if we have a button you see that button framed uh, in a nice little 20 pixel border. Uh, it does that automatically unless you use the uh, origin uh, keyword. So that keyword starts it at the zero and zero pixel. It also, next, is going to be defined that, that uh, space between the GUI widgets will be, again, zero across and zero down. So it'll be right next to each other, touching each other, instead of uh, separated by a bit of space, as they typically are. And uh, the across keyword you've seen before, um, that little function sets the GUI up uh, so that each of the items are next to each other. So every uh, button that we place on the screen will be placed next to one another instead of uh, vertically up and down. The style word is really important, really useful for working with GUIs. What it lets you do um, is take an existing GUI widget, GUI type, which in this case is going to be a button, and to create a new GUI type, new, new widget type, based on um, this uh, uh, definition that we create. And what you do is you use a style word, and you create a new word for a new type of widget that you want to create, and then the definition of your new widget based on existing widgets in Rebel. So we're creating a new style, which we're calling piece, and that's going to be a button, which is 60 by 60 pixels across and pixels down, and which will have this action code. So whenever, whenever we use the word piece, um, now in our GUI code, it will make a button that's 60 by 60, and which runs this, check for the indentation here, this code. And uh, what that code does uh, is it basically handles whenever that these buttons, these pieces are clicked on, um, it handles uh, the, the logic that manages how the game runs. Um, so the first thing that happens when you click on a piece on one of these buttons, uh, it checks to see if um, it's next to the empty space, because you can only move one of these buttons if it is next to the empty space, the empty button. Um, and the way we do that is uh, we can check the current face that's being clicked, the button that was being clicked, using this, uh, uh, this uh, syntax. The offset of any item is its uh, pixel position. We refer to the current clicked uh, widget by the word face. So the position, the offset of the clicked face, um, is calculated against the position of a button which we're going to call empty. Uh, we're going to name one of these pieces empty and or one a button empty. 
We're going to subtract the position, which is a uh, two position coordinate, uh, a uh, horizontal and a ver vertical coordinate pair. We can subtract coordinate pairs. Um, we're going to subtract the empty buttons position from the button uh, that was clicked, the position of the button that was clicked. And basically, if the empty button is next to it, one of these uh, one of these um, coordinates is going to be exactly 60 pixels uh, by 0 pixels away. If it's on one of the sides, um, it will be 60 pixels away because it's 60 pixels wide and 60 pixels tall, and the other position will be 0, 0 pixels away, touching the uh, touching the button. Um, so, we'll use a little find function. If that difference, the difference in the position of the button that's being clicked and the empty button is found using a find function in this block, if it's on one of the sides of that button, actually if it's not found, then we exit this block of action code. Otherwise, go on and we prove we uh, run through the process of switching the position, swapping the positions of the click button and the empty space, the empty button. We do that by first temporarily saving the position of the button that was clicked. That's face offset. The offset is the position of that currently clicked button. Save that in the variable temp. And then we save, or not save, but move um, the current uh, button to the position where the empty button was. So when we click on a button, it moves into the empty space. And then we move the empty button into the position where the click button was. So they essentially swap positions. When you click on a button, it moves into the empty space. So that empty space moves into the position where the click button was. So all of that code basically just checks to see if the click button is next to the empty space, if it's not, if it's not found in that, that block, if it's not right next to it, uh, the empty button, then it swaps the positions. Then what we do, now we've defined a new GUI widget called piece, each of which is a button of that size and each of which has that action code. So any piece we put down will run that code. Create a piece that has the numbers 1 through 15 place them into the uh, into the GUI. Again, they're all right next to each other, starting in the very upper 0 by 0 pixel position. There's a return to go to the next line. So we're creating uh, four lines here, the last of which, after all of those 15 buttons, is the empty space. The empty space is another piece, again, um, one of those uh, 60 by 60 items. Uh, this is a color uh, definition. 200 by 200 by 200. That's the, uh, the definition of the color. Um, red, green, blue. And we're going to give it um, the edge. This characteristic, the edge, has a side size of zero, so it appears less like a button. Um, that beveled edge makes it look like a button. If we get rid of that edge, make the size of that beveled edge zero, um, it looks more like an empty space and not like a button. So now there are 15 of these pieces on the board and one empty space in that last position. That looks like an empty space. So now that's all, all that's left to do is to show that. And again, it's centered on the screen. View, layout, that GUI block.